All right, today we're going to make a two-color keychain. First thing I need you to do is assign into Tinkercad. And when you're in there, I need you to create a new design. Make sure you're patient on the all changes saved so you don't lose your work. Go to your design, click the word properties, and this time we're going to name it Keychain Base with your initials and save your changes. Pause and get that done and then drag a box out on the grid or the work plane click on that item and I want you to make it 25 high by 70 wide sorry this should be too high and this should be 25 high so you end up with a good base for our keychain when you're done with that click the X to get rid of the um, ruler and then we need to add a hole to do the hole, I'm going to drop a cylinder just because it shows up better on my screen. I'm going to go to one of the corners. I'm going to hold the shift key on the keyboard and I'm going to shrink it till it says 5x5. Five five. When it looks like that, I'm going to set my work plane for the front of my keychain and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move that hole right where I want it. I'm going to right click orbit to make sure I'm happy. I'm going to pull it under one chunk so that I can see that it totally cuts through. I'm going to turn it into a hole and then with those two pieces selected and waiting for it to say all changes saved I'm going to make sure I've got them selected and then I'm going to group them. And that'll allow it once it says all changes saved to cut that hole out. That, believe it or not, is all it takes to do the first half of your keychain. You do have to keep it separate though. So right now I'd like you to take that design and I'd like you to upload it to Thingiverse. You don't have to hit C model on Thingiverse, but it doesn't hurt. And then this is the important part. Come back to your design and do design and do duplicate. When you get the copy of a copy, which takes a second, so now mine says copy of keychain, then I want you to hit design properties, and I need you to change it to say keychain words, because these are the words that you put on the base. When you've got that done, press W to get rid of your work plane, because we don't want to put anything up on our keychain anymore we're going to delete this in a minute and I'd like you to go to shape generators and text and pick your cool words pick the word you want I'm gonna do one of my favorite phrases the roar and then I need you to change the height to two millimeters this is not uh, something you can pick I am demanding that if you want to have one of these printed it needs to be two millimeters it does let you double click and type which is the easiest way to get there notice it'll be the same height as your keychain but that's fine because we're going to delete the keychain base in just a moment anyhow get your design so it totally fits in where you want making sure that you avoid the hole and when you have got your words just like you want then I want you to simply click on your old base and hit delete I had to wait for it to save. Be careful you don't lose your work. I've done that way too many. And then you need to upload that design for your cool words. So upload to Thingiverse and it'll say keychain words. You can hit see your model. And now you've got two pieces that can be used to make a keychain. If I go back here and press F5, you can see I've got an awesome base. And if I go here and press F5, I've got an awesome name. If you're not interested in printing these, you can be done. If you are interested in printing them, you need to do the interactions like I taught you yesterday. And then you need to go to the spreadsheet, which I've got a new way to get there. If you type bit.ly slash to 3D print, it takes you to our special sheet. So if you were trying to share this with somebody else that was doing likes, that's how you do it and then you need to fill this in as two pieces so the first piece I'm gonna put in is my base and I'm gonna publish it and then I'm gonna publish it I'm gonna copy the link 
and I'm going to go back here so I filled in the base color it's important to note that this involves extra work so right there is 25 interactions and then also for the words you need to publish it publish it copy that link up top and if you haven't published this I can't work you'll notice sometimes where I say I can't do it and uh, that's because people didn't publish it and I would have done 25 more interactions so I can do the second part uh, when you pick your colors your only colors for the two color keychains are blue green white black and red because that printer uses special ABS plastic so there you go that's what it takes if you're interested in making your own two color keychain I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please friend us on Facebook subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Instagram loving the cool interactions I'm getting from you guys stay classy Harbor Lights